Hey guys, Hector Tech here for another video tutorial. Uh, in this video I just wanted to show you guys real quick how you can uh, get Windows 10 installed if you don't already have it. And so there's a really quick, easy way to do this. I know that uh, it's been out for a little while now, but if you haven't gotten your copy of Windows 10, all you have to do is go to Google and search for the Windows 10 creation tool. So let's go ahead and search for that. And you can see that the first uh, link that's going to pop up here, I can go ahead and click on that. And now go ahead and click on download the tool. And you can see I can go ahead and go to the software download page. All right, now from here, if you scroll down, choose whether or not you want to download the 32 or 64 bit version. Uh, now, my machine is 64 bit, so I'm going to go ahead and download the 64 bit version. And I'm going to go ahead and save that to my computer. Now you can see that this one indicates I already have it installed, so I'm going to go ahead and launch it that way. But just click on Save, and it'll go ahead and download the installer. Okay, you can see that I have the media creation tool here that's uh, downloaded, and so I can go ahead and click on that and launch that. Now you'll notice, of course, I am running Windows 10 right now, so I don't actually need to upgrade. Uh, but this is the process that I use to actually install Windows 8, uh, 10. rather. So uh, you can see that once you launch this media creation tool, uh, in order to get Windows 10 installed, you'll have a couple different options. You can either go ahead and di directly upgrade your computer to Windows 10 from this executable file, or you can click on Create Installation Media for another PC. And this is the method that I went. I went ahead and created a disk, uh, especially since if I ever want to upgrade another machine, I don't have to go through this process again or mess with the file. I'll just have a hard copy of it. So you click on that, click on Next, choose your language, and choose the edition that you want. Of course, I'm doing Windows 10 Home, and I want to do 64-bit. You can also choose if you want to make a uh, version that has both installed. I'm just going to do the 64-bit version. Click on Next and choose whether or not you want to do uh, this on a USB flash drive or make an ISO file. I went ahead and did the ISO file so I can go ahead and choose to save that. And I'll go ahead and just save that to my desktop actually. And click on Save. And you'll need to give this a few minutes to actually uh, install or download. So it's going to download that ISO file to your computer. Once the ISO is downloaded, all you have to do is simply burn it to a DVD, and then you'll be all set to go. Okay, so if you look on my desktop here, you can see that the Windows ISO file has successfully downloaded. Now what we need to do is we need to go ahead and burn that ISO file to a DVD. So go ahead and pop your DVD into your uh, computer. And once you've done that, we're going to go ahead and either launch or download a program called Infracorder. Now, you can use different uh, options here. There's different kinds of uh, software that you can download to install or rather burn ISO files to DVDs. Uh, Infracorder is actually just the one that I prefer to use because I think it's the easiest uh, and it is free. So I'm going to go ahead and launch that. I actually have an icon for Infracorder right here. We can go ahead and launch that. So it's very simple. You can choose whether or not you want to create an audio, video, disk, or whether or not you want to create a data disk. Now it's very important here that you choose the option of write image because you're writing an ISO image to that DVD. So click on write image. Okay, so there's my Windows ISO file. I'm going to go ahead and double click on that. Okay, so once that happens, you'll get some options that will pop up right here. Uh, just follow the prompts and make sure you uh, choose whether or not you want the disk to eject after the writing is complete. Uh, all those kinds of things. Click on OK, and then it'll go ahead and burn that ISO file uh, to your DVD. Now, I don't have a disk put in my computer right now because I don't need to install it uh, or to burn, the, uh, to burn the ISO. But for you, all you have to do is click on OK and pretty much wait for it to burn over to the DVD. Very simple, very easy process. And that's really all there is to it. That's it for this video tutorial on how to uh, get Windows 10 set up to install onto your computer or to upgrade your machine to Windows 10. Uh, I'm going to be making a video in the future just to go over some of the features that I like about Windows 10. Uh, if you want an opinion, I think it is a great operating system. It's definitely a huge improvement from Windows 8. And I would definitely recommend if you're coming from Windows 7, Windows 
8, anything like that, definitely upgrade. It's definitely worth, uh, worth the upgrade for sure. So that's it for this video tutorial. Thanks for watching, and have a great day.